Super Bowl is coming. We are getting fancy. He's going to the Oscars. I've got the wrong team on. <laughs> Oscars? What is Super Bowl with the Oscars? Well, you're dressed like a... Yeah, never mind. Uh, anyway. Fancy for the Super Bowl, people. Yeah, man. What are we doing today for the Super Bowl, baby? Today we're doing pull-out Cuban sandwiches. Um, Chef. Go. Oh. I think it's appropriately named pull apart uh, pull. Cuban sandwiches. Okay, fine. Pull up. Pull whatever. They're going to make sandwiches. They're going to be able to pull them. Excuse the Italian. Okay. Okay, now, I am using Hawaiian bread. I love it. It's nice and sweet, and, and it's going to get nice and gooey in the, uh, in the oven as it Ooh. bakes, and you're going to be able to pull it apart. Out apart. Okay. <laughs> now, here's the thing. We need to stuff this. How are we going to stuff it? Oh, we're going to stuff it with what? We're going to make a Cuban sandwich oh. in here. No. But we need to cut it in half first. How do you... Ah. Let me show you, Kimo Sabi. Oh, he has to go at the angle. Not even at an angle. This is how I like to do it. Okay. And I use a serrated knife. Serrated and I try... knife. Yes. It's the... Every time you got to cut bread, serrated knife is the way to go. Awesome. Show me how you're going to do it. No. <laughs> Not like that. Right, listen, you can go in any angle you want. You want to take it like this and try to show it like that? Go ahead. Be my guest. Okay, here we go. So go across. The most important is see your knuckles are cutting. Uh, the, you don't want your knuckles to hit the board. So bring your bread towards. There you go. So you have more play in there. And you don't need to press. Don't do a lot of pressure with your hand. You're just holding the bread. You're just gentle pressure. Press right now. Go back and forth. There you go. You don't need to press down. It's just to hold the bread. The serrated knife will do the rest. Awesome. And I do like this, so that way when it's done... Now... <laughs> You're just so much nicer. <laughs> it's got like this funky... It's okay. We'll you make it. You know what? We will make it. Chef Don's making hot dogs. That's a pretty good hot dog. I don't dog. know if he's making a hot dog that big. <laughs> but here, uh, we've shown you in other episodes how to do uh, garlic, uh, a ali olio, garlic may mayonnaise. And uh, we have all the components of a traditional Cuban sandwich. The only Which difference are? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. Uh, pickles. Yes. We have uh, roasted ham. We have Swiss cheese. We have uh, ham, and we have mustard. Mustard. Now, the only difference today I'm going to do different is I chose baby Swiss. Ooh. So as it cooks, it's going to be able to get a little bit of a uh, of a pull in there. You get the stringy, stringy you get the cheese. String. Yes. And I also, I also found that Baby Swiss has a little bit more bite. Yes, it has a little bit more bite than the regular Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use a little bit of the garlic mayonnaise that we have shown you. A little bit. <laughs> okay, fine. More. <laughs> you want it more? Uh, no, no, more? no. I'm, I mean, I'm literally like, no, yes, okay. Well, we're all doomed now. <laughs> Hope you boys don't have dates. Well, listen, you, can, you don't have to put on yours. I'm going to show you how to do it. Well. And then what would I put on mine though? I well, you know what? Traditionally, you put mustard. mustard. And this is so simple. You can make this ahead the night before. Oh, uh, put in the fridge. Put it in the fridge, and then the next day you just put it inside of the oven. Uh, I start with the layer of my ham, and of course, Andrew's going to do the same I do. I'm not. Actually, I am, but we just have one without garlic. Aioli, 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 aioli. Wow. <laughs> However you say it. So, get the ham in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to layer up the ham. And this is great for parties. doesn't have to be the Super Bowl. And, and you know, we were just uh, uh, inspired by it. the Super Bowl. It's coming no matter what. Yeah. Uh, let's see who's going to be the winner this year. But it's fun food for the Super Bowl. You can add more. Ooh. I, I got, I got yeah. enough, I got I enough like, ham for both can of I us. Have more? Oh, yeah, we got to have enough ham. So, the idea behind this is you're going to create these, you're going to bake them, and then we just pull them apart because the rolls are already se uh, separated. So, how much ham are you going to. Now, here's the trick mm -hmm. the rolls are separated. Is the ham separated? No. So, we're going to give it a cut before it goes into the oven. Oh, makes sense. Because if you try to do this without cutting the ham, you as, you're to pull, uh, to pull out, uh, <laughs> as you're trying to uh, pull the uh, sandwich away, the slice of ham will come with you. So I have about a half a pound of ham for both sandwiches. Okay. And then we're gonna share the Swiss cheese. Okay. Because we can share Swiss cheese. A half a pound of Swiss cheese too. But please, uh, if it comes pre-sliced, don't put the paper. Yeah, in there. don't put the paper in there. Make sure you get the. <laughs> I know. I, I know it's calorie free, but <laughs> it's not good eats. It's good fiber. Uh, kind of. 
And uh, don't layer outside. You don't want the cheese to layer like this because then it will melt and you're gonna lose a lot of the cheese. Keep it about a quarter of an inch in. That way when it melts, it melts inside of your bread. Uh, can you add more cheese to this? Absolutely. Uh, can you add mozzarella Gier. cheese or Gruyere mm. or uh, Parmesan cheese? Smoked or Gouda. Smoked Gouda, but I'm doing a traditional Cuban. Here, let's share this. Okay. Roasted ham. So we're gonna put a roasted ham in there. We got also about half a pound of roasted ham. Just sprinkle it, sprinkle it around. And, and I love this, the pickles. Pickles, now these are dill. These are actually butter The bread pickle. and butter pickles? Bread and butter pickles. Sweet this and sour. Gonna, there's going to be a lot of debate which pickles are the best. It's up to you. I like this guys. I like bread and butter pickles for the Cuban sandwich. There might be people that, there might be people that disagree. Uh, you can also use dill pickles if you really want it pickly. Thank you, don't mind if I do. It's for the sandwich, man. Oh, man. Oh, come on. You have, you want to add both of them? Go ahead. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm. Nice and pickly. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. now remember your ham is not, it's not being cut in there. So if you, after it comes out of the oven, pull this out, one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, if Andrew can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Now, serrated knife. Why do you keep taking my knife? Because it's the only one serrated with Well, give me the, what's that one? That is, the, let me show you. Let me show you how to do it. You don't want to put a lot of pressure down. The, the serrated knife, let it do the work. Okay. And it comes all the way down. Preheat your oven to what? Uh, the oven I have preheated at 350 degrees. 350? Yes. And now, are you gonna, oh, see, I was gonna ask if you're going that way too. Of course. Now, remember, just not a lot of pressure. Just hold your bread together. And the serrated knife, you don't have to do pressure down. The serrated knife, the beautiful thing, it has these ridges. Mm -hmm. It works almost like a saw. If you have help at home, you can have them hold your... Now. Am I true? Now you can take the serrated knife. Wow, it's free help. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to place it parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use, um, you can use uh, a silk pad. Stop or you can use a non-stick. <laughs> you can use a non-stick cookie sheet also. It's, you can do that. Are we laughing at you? Uh, I don't know. Just making sure that you're not seeing that stuff is falling out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get yelled at. So sorry. Now, did you turn it already? Let me show you a trick. Nope. Stop. Well. Lift. <laughs> Lift. Look. Yeah, yeah. Lift not, the, I put, haven't finished it. Just, I know. Put the paper down. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. That way you don't sweat it to put it. It's already on the paper. Just no, make sure you don't cut aligned. the paper. <sighs> Trust me, the people. They're not gonna be. I need more fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you need something else. <laughs> you need help. That's what you need. We all need. We all need a little bit of therapy. Lots of therapy. <laughs> See. <Somebody>. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. No. I think. Go ahead. Yes, Andrew. I'm. I'm waiting. You see how hard it's now try to lift all of this in there. So it's easier if you put the paper there. Another trick that I use is. I'm just gonna slide. Chef, you know what we should have done? What? We should have done it like I had it upside down, and then you just go. <laughs> oh. No. If you don't want it to drop there, then look at this. Here, flip my uh, my sheet pad. Flip it. There you go. You put it right here. Mm -hmm. That way, the sandwich falls right on the parchment paper. Awesome sauce. See, and so you got just, it right now. And then you just lift that. And then you just go like this. And then you just go like this. <laughs> Look, here we go. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fail! Get in your face! <laughs> you sound like the cookie monster today. 
That one goes in. Nothing fell out. That's, 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 that's I know, because they're delicious. How are you gonna do? How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do it? You didn't see that, and that never happened. I was never here. Your choice right now would be if you want to uh, brush it with oil uh, or butter. Uh, I think we have enough. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just stuff it back in there. <laughs> uh, your, your choice now if you want to brush it up with oil, butter, or... Uh, oh my goodness, are you really going there? Yes. <laughs> I mean, we're doing this, right? Hi, welcome to Talking Food. It's time for garlic time. Just a little bit, just so you can do the... <laughs> Carly just went through the camera. That's good. <laughs> Man, and I thought I had the kitchen for us today. That's it. Cool. And the oven it goes. All right. Until when? Until when? Until, until it's done. Until it's done. So it's going to spin there at for how long? Uh, we're going to check it in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ten All minutes. right. Here we go. If you don't close the oven, <laughs> not going to happen, Thanks, my friend. Mom. All right, so 10 minutes has passed, and we're gonna pull the sandwiches out. Please, sir, would you be so kind to use two towels? Two? Yeah, well, what about if you're gonna bring yourself with the other one? I there can't you go. Bring, it two. Right. Bring, it, bring them out before they fall apart and they get too toasty. Oh, yeah. Mm. One. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, yours is gonna look amazing. No, it's gonna look like that, toasty. And uh, everything's gonna be toasty and nice. Mm -hmm. And just because I can. Oh. Uh, you pass me the brush. One because brush. you wanna be all healthy and stuff. It's Super Bowl. That's when you go, uh, you know. You go all out. All out. A little bit of butter. Melted butter hasn't killed nobody yet, according yes. to a lot of people. <laughs> now, um, another way you can do this is. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting slices of ham, you right. can just put chopped up ham. That way you can actually do the pull, uh, ah, the pull away. Gotcha. But I like it this way. Okay. Again, now, this is going to be really hot. How are you going to get it from here to there? With this thing. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me grab one of these just to put your part of paper. Now, how am I doing this? The whole thing or just pulling like a line oh. of them? Because I can do like a line. Yeah, you can do a line. Push, push. Yeah. There right. you go. That's line number one. Oh, See, that, that's a cheesy, cheesy goodness. I'm sorry, I gotta. Mm. And if you want more cheesy goodness, uh, use, uh, add, more. and these two you can go in the center. I was gonna go like one, two, three. Oh, but... you're, oh you've been learning, look at that. Well, you've been making fun of me this whole season <laughs> on my plating expertise or lack thereof. Look, I want you people to look at the cheesiness. Oh, so look cheesy. Look at that. And then the last one. That's so cheesy. That's so sad. Now, this one are the ones that are loaded with mayonnaise garlic. And uh, the uh, is also called ali, ali olio. Ali olio, 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 olio. And this is the first one. And look at that. That looks amazing. Thank you for doing mine. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Now you can do your own. Mine fell apart. Yeah, yours fell apart? It's okay. Don't worry, you have a chance yep. right now to get it all together. Yep. So, I'm push it there. I'm going to try and get some of that cheese with me. Oh, there the nice crunchy go. cheese. Yeah. And now, with the 10 minutes, you can see the bread is nicely toasted. Uh, if you want your bread to be a little bit softer, then I suggest you go at, at a 300 degree oven and go for 15 oh, minutes. Hot. It might be hot, be careful. No, 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 that's the pan. Oh, look at this, this uh, look at this. Uh, oh. So you can go to a 300 degree oven a little bit longer, and we're still gonna, because we, what we want to do here is reach the center, so the center gets nice and gooey. A lot of times uh, when you go to Miami, you have your Cuban sandwich, they cook it too fast, they don't let it sit in the griddle properly. So the outside will be nice and crunchy and warm, but the center is gonna be cold, no. Cheese has to melt. There we are. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, your pool. Pull apart. Pull apart Cuban sandwiches. One with extra garlic and mayonnaise. And one kind of just for the kids. And the other one for people like Andrew that don't like the garlic. I, I love garlic, just not with my coupons. That's his thing. That's my thing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you get super bowled up. And we'll see you next time when we get 
I don't remember what we have next, but it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry, I mean, just make sure I... Getting you ready for the Oscars there, uh, see some Bill DeMille? A super, a super Bowl. Oh, okay. Let the people in now. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down there, subscribe, do the click up. If you don't like it, click down. I'm not offended. Nah. Nah, but you're gonna like it. How can it. you be offended by this amazingness? Okay, you, thank you guys. I'm gonna start, like, testing now. I think I will, too. See ya. Have a great time. Great Super Bowl. Mm.